So, you're ready to find a utility partner to establish your own electric truck charging infrastructure. You've already figured out your power needs and you start making calls, but there's a problem. You quickly discover that heavy duty charging infrastructure is basically the wild west. Kilowatt charging speed and capacity options are all on the table, and charging plugs aren't even standardized yet. What do you do? When new questions begin to swirl and the reality of electric trucks seems out of reach, go back to your application needs when you reach out to charging equipment suppliers. First, know that you might not necessarily have to install the most high-powered charging systems. It's really more about how your fleet operates. Maybe choosing the tried and true 150 kilowatt chargers will be better for your fleet because they're industry proven equipment that can give you a faster charge so that you can be as flexible as possible with your customers. Charging equipment is new for everyone, but there are groups dedicated to researching this stuff that can surely help you out. Two good places to start researching charging equipment are the Charging Interface Initiative, a worldwide industry alliance focused on promoting the combined charging system as the global standard for charging electric vehicles of all types, and EV Connect. EV Connect has launched an EV charge station certification program for electric vehicle charging station manufacturers. Once that's done, it's time to determine your power density and location needs. If, for example, your fleet primarily runs out of Southern California where space is at a premium for parking, you'll need to find locations that have enough room to install a charging infrastructure without disrupting your customer's operations too much. That's why it's important to start discussions with your utility companies early. You likely want to have the discussion with your utilities and charging equipment providers before you invest in rolling hardware to work through your specific potential power constraints within the grid, where and when it might have additional capacity, and so forth. Finally, like any investment, you'll need to keep a close eye on your electric charging infrastructure and capture performance metrics to make sure they're paying off. For more trucking equipment content, head over to fleetequipmentbank.com. Thanks for watching.